Hello everybody and welcome to the late November, early December edition of the Angler's Covey Fly Fishing Report. My name is Tim Hannon. I'm here today with John Kleiss. We'll be doing a little bit of filming. Uh, today we're going to be talking about some great places to go fishing in this part of the month going into the next part of the month. Of course we're going to be doing another December edition of the Fly Fishing Report, but until then we want to give you a couple of great places to go. In today's report, I'm going to be discussing the Pueblo tailwater of the Arkansas River. We're also going to be discussing South Platte. We're also going to be discovering some secret places to go that people know about but rarely go to in these time of year. First of all, let's talk about Pueblo and the Arkansas tailwater. Generally, this time of year, we have a lot better flows than we have right now, usually in between 75 to 200. We're really battling from last year's low snow flows. So, between 30 and 50 is about as good as we're going to get. We might not even see anything better for the rest of the year. Good news is that'll probably keep some crowds away that we experienced last year. Bad news is those fish are going to be holed up in those tight runs. There's going to be a lot of anglers trying to get to those runs. So, get down there before it starts to get too cold because that is the only place on the front range that has these really warm, it's a great warm water fishery. That being said, let's discuss on what to use. Egg patterns are still going to be great. If they bump the flows at all this time of year, put on some San Juan worms. They're probably going to work for you too. Good old spaghetti meatballs. Let's also talk about some midge patterns, some betas patterns, and possibly even some caddis patterns, even though they're not coming off. I definitely like anything from size 18 to 24, 26 right now. Fish are really starting to get into their winter mentality of taking small midges. They can sustain all day long on just tiny little midges all day long. So, use a great attractor pattern. Start using like your uh, black beauties, your uh, bluing olive emergers, um, and definitely try out those new flies that are small. Uh, try creative colors. I definitely like some new ones we got in style. Uh, the mojo midge is gonna be great in brown and, and olive right now. Black too is gonna be successful. The bubble back midge. Um, some guides are bringing in some really awesome midges right now that they're going to be using for the winter months. Great to use down in the Pueblo, uh, the tailwater of the Arkansas. Take four. So let's talk a little bit about the South Platte. South Platte is of course doing well. 11 Mile Canyon is predictably well. The Dream Stream has done really well lately. There was a period of about two weeks where we had flows around 62.3 CFS. Well, those bumped last week. Uh, I haven't checked today, but they were at about 130, 160 in between there for a good few days. It bring another great brown run. Um, it also brings some more salmon. So it's a great time to go fish the Dream Stream, fish 11 Mile. Getting to, into our next section, fish some places that you haven't been before. Happy Meadows is a great place to go fishing. Uh, if you haven't been there, they just finished a lot of stream improvements. It's incredible. You got to get down there. The fish aren't huge by any means, but there are some big ones, and there's even a chance to get into that 20 inch fish. Um, right now, on that whole region, especially 11 Mile Canyon and Happy Meadows, I'd be using, again, the attractor patterns we love sand on worms, eggs. I like getting the fish attracted to that line. Then I like to use pheasant tails, RS2s, black beauties. You might even get a good beta hatch on an overcast day. Um, remember, in the canyon, there's quite a significant sun shadow. So from 10 to 2 are the best opportunities when that water's heating up a little bit. Before then and after then, it's pretty chilly in there. However, up in the dream stream, there's some great chances to get some of those cut bows and rainbows that have come up to chase those browns for the spawn and those salmon for the spawn. Also in Happy Meadows, I'd use the same thing as you'd use in 11 Mile Canyon. Up in the dream stream, you might want to vary it up a little bit. You can even do some streamer fishing up there. 
uh, brown, black, uh, olive, get into those colors. Some of those fish that are up there for the spawn will take a, a streamer on an aggressive take. So get up there, try your luck on some of those great places on that South Platte drainage.